what is going on fam so today today's a different day we don't have we don't have the fd we don't have the daily i'm just stranded out on this road just kidding got a car right behind the camera that i actually uh got to take out today film a little review on her and it's a car that you guys probably love i'm sure being honda enthusiasts right kev probably like this car i'm obsessed with this yeah so it's my dream car so i mean without further ado the car that i'm gonna be driving around today filming some povs rollers cinematics whatever give you guys a rundown on the car whether i would buy it or not without further ado a 2021 honda civic type r fk8 boom Shout out my guy Matthew. I'll leave his link down below for his Turo account. He was generous enough to hook me up and let me take this car out. Regardless if it's through the app or not, not many people are willing to do that. This is the only Type R that I even found that you could rent. So definitely shouts out to Matthew. If you guys are looking to rent out a Type R and you might be in the Connecticut area, maybe Massachusetts area, then click that link down below and schedule yourselves a booking to rent out this absolutely gorgeous Honda Civic Type R. And this is not gonna be the last time you guys see this. I'm really liking this car already, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be renting her out more often, maybe just for some videos, for some fun, you know? If I'm going out to a fancy restaurant or something, I don't feel like taking out the FD, maybe I'll rent out the Type R. So guys, we are here with the 2021 Honda Civic Type R, as I've already mentioned, and I'm just gonna do a little walk around on it. Basically, just give you guys my first impressions. This is the first time I've ever even been inside of it, let alone drive one. I've seen them at car shows, dealerships, whatnot. So this is an experience I haven't had yet. And right off the bat, of course, as everyone knows, these cars are extremely aggressive in style. You got a hood scoop coming right out, fully functional. You have your grill, which exposes your intercooler, which is also great and fully functional. Then you have your lip kit. Honda is equipped with a faux carbon lip kit. Same thing with the side skirts. You got the carbon action going on. Fake or not, it looks great and it accents the colors of these cars very well. Another thing that they did with the Type R that they haven't really done with any other Hondas is they have the red center caps, the red Honda center caps, which is just a little cool add-on that they got there. And I'm not sure exactly which tires this car came equipped with, but right now it is rocking Continentals in the back and Michelin's in the front, and the car grips phenomenally. Main thing, these cars handle like a dream. Even after driving my 8th Gen SI for a long time, for a few years now, four years, because I used to have the FG2, those are outstanding handling cars. They handle great. And going from that to this, I would say there's a pretty big difference. I haven't really gotten on it because this isn't my car, so I haven't really taken it too hard around corners. With that being said, just light corners that I have taken, it takes them with complete ease. The FK8 is, I believe, if not the best front wheel drive handling car. It's, it's right up there. I'm pretty sure it is the best front wheel drive handling car though. And right behind that is like the FD2, 8th gen Civic Si, so two beasts right there. And now if we come over to the fenders, which is also fully functional, we have some vents to reduce drag and also dissipate some heat, I suppose, mainly just to get rid of some of that drag. It is not covered up, as you see, straight from the front to the back of the fender. So it's definitely designed very well. Another thing right off the bat that I noticed on this car is it does not come equipped with a sunroof. To me, it's really not that big of a deal. 
These are sports cars and the sunroof do add some weight to these cars. So when they're engineering these, they keep that in mind and they just keep it simple with the metal to reduce weight and improve performance. Overall, it's a great car. It brakes nice. Came equipped with the big boy Brembo's and some solid rotors. I mean, those are some thick disc rotors and it's got the turn signals on the side views, which is great. Now that we're talking about lighting, we're gonna go over to the front headlights. As you guys see, these are designed beautifully. They're extremely bright at night. You will have no problem seeing anything. Honestly, I'm not driving at night yet, but I have turned them on and they are LED. As Kev was saying behind the camera, they should be equipped with some LEDs in the rear end. That would definitely make it really nice too. That could always be an add-on down the road. Go over to the rear end, the hatch. Of course, as you guys all know, they come equipped with this big wing. It really makes them very aggressive. It gives them that aggressive look. This blue is just a beautiful color. Colors that Honda has been coming out with for these Type R's is insane. The Sonic gray, they got, I don't know the exact color of this blue, but they got the baby blue. The red is great. The championship white is also an OG color. It's got a nice exhaust tone. They're not the loudest cars coming out of factory, but they are very smooth sounding and you still do hear a little bit of a blow off coming from that turbo when letting off the gas, which is great. And I'm sure he put on a nice little blow off valve or something on there, make it sound even more aggressive. Let's go to the interior of this car and wrap this up. Another great thing about these cars is walk away and it locks, typically. I mean, now it's clowning me. It's clowning me right now, but I mean, typically I don't, it, it locks. So you pull up, unlocked. These are bucket seats, and I was a little hesitant about them. I wasn't sure if these bucket seats were gonna be comfy, if they were gonna be stiff, you know? I've ridden in a bunch of bucket seats, and sometimes they're not the most comfortable, but these are a different breed honestly they're extremely comfortable to ride in and they give you that performance and they give you better drivability definitely keeps you more snug in the seat steering wheel is great this steering wheel is equipped with alcantara fabric wrapped around it and then we have some more faux carbon going on and as they do the same thing in the 10th gen si's as you see he still got the plastic wrapping over that because this is a brand new car this is actually civic r 42383 let's go over to the hatch because the hatch is pretty dope so this is already set up as you guys see put that in there if you want something to keep whatever you have in your hatch stable personally i would probably even use this at like car shows and just be chilling in my hatch sit in here maybe make it a little more stable with like some food or something so it's multi-purpose but it is to keep the stuff in your hatch for moving around and then you got one up here a little visor uh, in case you want some privacy don't know what you're going to be doing in your type r's i mean sipping my tea but that's the hatch she's got a lot of room back here and something that is different with these type bars than a normal vehicle is if you come over to the spare i actually like this because a lot of spares either come with donuts or uh, crappy wheels and this one actually comes with a repair kit that blows out sealant into the tire so you don't even need to replace the tire immediately or take the wheel off and put a donut on, risking damaging your car further. So that's great. You just gotta be careful and make sure it's all sealed up. We're gonna put this back down. I was gonna touch up on these vents right here, but if you take a closer look, I don't know if, if you can open up the inside panel but it is closed off, I'm not sure why. I was assuming that was also to restrict drag, but it doesn't look like they are currently functional. I'm sure you could mod that if you wanted to, so that is an option right there. Uh, you could always cut out that back panel and some more faux carbon rear lip. Not many cars come with lip kits and wide fenders and drag restriction vents. It's definitely built for the car enthusiast, someone who is looking to drive this car relatively fast and enjoy it. I mean, you could daily it. Yeah, it's also a great daily because they shift like butter. They come equipped with auto rev match. I personally turn the auto rev match off because I like to match it myself. It just gives you a more raw feeling, a better driving experience. Going back to the exhaust, it comes equipped with not a dual exhaust, 
but a tri setup. Little one in the middle and two bigger boys in the end. Even though this one has like a bigger diameter, definitely has a nice crisp tone to it. Then you got these little flares going on right here, just like the Tourings or the, the regular Civic hatches come equipped with. The mats say Type R on them, and you don't have to pull any e-brake on this. If you're going to your parking brake, it's just a little switch, pull up that switch. And there's also a hold brake that I noticed right here. I'm not sure, but I almost want to say it's for people that might not be too comfortable with driving stick and they're on a hill and they don't want to roll back. So you can put on the brake hold, put it in first gear without rolling back. So that's my assumption on that. I didn't use it because I've been driving stick shift for a while, but for someone who might be novice, like Kev behind the camera right here, that brake hold is definitely a beautiful add-on because you do not want to go back into someone's car on top of a hill in a beautiful Civic Type R or any car in general. As of right now, zero complaints. It's just such a smooth car and it is very quick. The torque is there, the power's there, she takes off and she grips. She grips great. So something I did not touch up on and something that I actually just realized, I had the car in sport mode and I, kind of thought that was like her mode that was the sport mode you know i thought that's where i was going to be getting the torque and the power but matter of fact she goes up to boom r plus as you guys see right there so sport is like the middle ground and the tack actually changes it looks like it's the same red line uh comfort mode it appears to have the same red line for all three but the R is supposed to give you more power and more torque. So I haven't driven in that mode yet. So we're gonna go test her out. 